My name is Matthew Colt. As a young boy, the real world seemed to me nothing but dull. A lackluster and drab place. The structures and threads of which, like reality itself, I found mind-numbingly boring. As a result, in my youth, I buried myself in literature. I read everything I could get my hands on. I became very interested in metaphysics in particular. There's something about the spiritual world that has always gripped me immensely. As I grew up, I could see a major shift in society. I could see how things were changing, but I couldn't describe what was happening. Something bigger, something cosmic. It was shaping everything as we knew it. It was forcing its way into changing our world, and I felt trapped in my head as the people around me celebrated these changes as an improvement, as progress. I sank into my imagination. Good evening, Mr. Cole. Mr. Hartford awaits you upstairs. I must apologize for the mess. Please take care and watch your step. Welcome, Mr. Colth. I hope you found me well. As I explained to you in our previous correspondence, the issue is with my beloved wife, Della. She is sick and will not consider any form of treatment. She has refused therapy on many occasions and will not even entertain the idea of any medication. As you are aware, she sees ghosts, Mr. Colth, storming the rooms of this very house and running havoc through the hallways. I am a skeptic, Mr. Colth. As I have said to you before, I believe in these demons about as much as I believe that I won't have to pay my tax this year. But my wife, she sees apparitions and believes them to be true. She believes they reside in the basement, and there is not even a basement to this house. But I love her, you see. She is my entire world, Mr. Colth. And I hoped that in bringing you here, and showing her that there is nothing, that maybe we may move on together in peace. Here, you will need this. It is the master key to the house. Please. Go and talk to Della. You will find her in the library, by the piano, perhaps.
Probably he'll kill you anyway, and put the blame on me. You shouldn't be here, do you hear me? Go and talk to the maid, Daisy, if you don't believe me. She must be in the kitchen. In the meantime, please bear with me while I practice my piano skills. Switch? For sure there are some secrets opening elsewhere. This house holds stranger occurrences than I presumed.
feeling. No one here seems to be sane. The entire family and staff are so strange. I must say that when I first arrived, I felt spirits in the air around me. I could feel something paranormal in this house for certain. I wonder why Mr. Hartford was lying about this basement. <laughs> 